So when people watch Strongman and you're explaining these implements and things like that, like truck poles, finkel fingers, things like that, it's pretty intimidating. Do you have an ar- an argument for yes. why more people should do Strongman? So absolutely. Uh, so one, anybody that's out there that's ever competed in any sort of event, so CrossFit, powerlifting, uh, I've competed in events similar to those before. I've never like done an official CrossFit uh, sanctioned or an official USAPL, but I've been around those people. And there are great people that exist within those cultures. But I can tell you that the strongman community is one of the coolest communities you'll ever be in. Because, so I recall several competitions that I won where the guy that I beat was yelling in my ear, like literally walked just right up to me while I was doing like a Conan's wheel. And the, my my friend Brad was literally like, don't you dare put this down. Like, don't you dare let me beat you. And the guy that I beat was cheering me on. So as far as like community goes, it's super welcoming. It is super intimidating too. I recall like in 2017, that first competition I did, I don't think I warmed up on a single implement because like, these guys are freaking strong, dude. Like some of these these super heavyweights, they're like doing warm ups, and uh, you kind of have to like force your way in. And mm. I guess when it's your first time, it feels like very unwelcoming. But really, what it is is it's a bunch of very welcoming people, and but they're also not gonna tell you something you don't want to hear. So they're not gonna like boss you around or you know be douchebags, I guess. But they are there to help you. So. Uh, for the intimidation part, if, if someone's interested and they want to like explore it, I would say go watch a competition and see what it's like. Hopefully you get lucky with a really good one. And to make the case for people to do it, I can tell you that if I'm near you and you need help moving, I am really good at getting really heavy things awkwardly into different like vehicles. Uh, there's a lot of just So people talk about functional fitness and I kind of have a Mm. a trigger point for functional fitness because I think it's mostly a load of garbage. Functional fitness is something that you train that helps you with things that you do in everyday life. And I can tell you that learning how to use leverage to pick up any implement will have direct carryover to helping you move things around the house to, you know, moving a refrigerator, th- those kind of things. It, it's, it is really handy. Plus it's really fun. And uh, it, it really is just an amazing community. Yeah. And, that, and that's, most, I could go on. I can, oh, I, you go I was just going to say, that's a really interesting thought. I've never really thought about that, but it does seem like more of the strongman movements are more helpful to the everyday person than CrossFit. Absolutely. And and plus, I'm telling you, it is so much fun and it's so rewarding and it's a, it's not a very large community. So you get to know people. So like I literally had a pro strongman in here like two days ago and we were BSing about equipment. He was actually, so I'm staring at the log I'm working on in front of me and he's interested in the log. And, but that's how cool that is, is that someone who's a professional level athlete like just happens to live in Dayton and came and BS with me. And uh, he actually gave me the sleeve extenders for that super long deadlift bar that I pulled off the other night. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. But I did. Yeah, it's a Wait, super small community, super awesome. Would you say that most strong men want the sport to get larger or kind of stay how it is being relatively small? You know what? I don't know. So I'll tell you what I think. I can't speak for what other people think. I can tell you about my experiences, though. And I think it needs to grow. And I think it has been growing significantly, uh, especially with the popularization of Strong, World's Strongest Man. And Rogue has done an amazing job putting on some really cool implements at the Arnold for everybody to see every single year. Plus, you know, Rogue took over the World's Strongest Man implements as well. So I I think it should grow. I think there's a lot of value to it growing. Really the only detractor from it growing is the last competition I did took forever because there was like a max log and any sort of max event takes forever because there's usually like two 400 pound dudes that are like, okay, what's your third attempt? Because this is my third attempt. 
other than the competition's taking a little bit longer, I don't see any negative sides to it. Additionally, people that come into Strongman and they try to, I'm hopefully not estranging anybody, but trying to like crossfit it to where it's like, you know, oh, I'm going to host a Strongman event. And then the, the weights are so light that you end up doing like a thousand reps of something. Those people usually end up losing, you know, their ability to do sanctioned events. I don't know. I, I think that there's a lot of advantages to it growing. I don't think there's really all that much disadvantage and it's a very welcoming environment. There are some out there that you're always going to have, you know, your, your remote few, your niche few that hate people, I guess. I don't know. And they're never going to accept newcomers, but I think for the most part, it'd be a good thing for it to grow. 